In today's special video, Jason and I visit with owner of Ivory Holsters, Gabriel Sangdun. We visit his shop and he shows us how he builds the most customizable, form-fitting, and best-functioning holsters that exist on the market today. We hope you enjoy today's video and thanks for tuning in. You like that? It's getting out of control right now. It's a little burly. You know, I'm glad I have it now because it's going to be cold as balls out there, so at least my chin will be warm. Yeah. Yeah. For the first day, anyway. Uh, first two days. Yeah? Yeah. That's awesome. All right. Well, here we are. Yeah, man. I'm pumped. This is so sweet. Yeah, so we just walked now? in to, yeah, of oh course. Why would we not be? Like, just, just candid do it. Yeah. Hey, we're on candid camera. Yeah. <laughs> so we are at the world headquarters of Ivory Holsters. Of Ivory Holsters so. <laughs> Worldwide. This is, uh, this is super exciting. So um, Gabe has put together uh, our custom holsters, which we're pretty pumped about. So um, as you can see, uh, we've got the custom H3O logo. This is my um, pistol. The beauty of this is they are made to fit our packs. So we're going to show you kind of how uh, they fit on there, show you how they, uh, how they all come together, and uh, show you the features on this. So what I'm going to do is kind of turn it over because I want him to explain how all this yeah. fits. Yeah. Um, so the beauty of that is, as you can see, super easy compared to what I've been using, um, which is this guy. Uh, I won't name the brand because it's... Uh, pretty tight so one of the issues that I've had is in order for mine to fit in here I've really got to drive this guy down into there and you can see it actually affects the slide on this um, and so I've never really liked how that functions and uh, so Gabe's going to talk us through how this operates much yeah. better so yeah so they're they're I'm gonna... So they're built for, like each each holster is built for a specific firearm, right? So this one being the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0, which is an awesome gun, by the way. I love the grip on this thing. Um, just to quickly go over the features, we, we build it with a, it's, it's like an 80-20 split. So you got 80% of your definition on the outside, as you can see from the side there, and then about 20% on the back. And you really want that 20% on the back because it, that's the portion that goes against the the body, or in this case, the hip belt. Um, and that really helps it to do a couple of things. It helps it to hug it super tight to the body, but it also, if you were wearing it as an everyday carry holster, it makes it much more comfortable than having a 50-50 split and then bending the wings, and then you have essentially three points of contact, one, two, and then the 50 split of the center of the gun. And man, that just digs in after after you know hours of, of being on the range or whatever. So this, it's, it's it takes a little longer to make, um, but I've had some really good feedback to the point where I don't want to go to a 50-50 a split, even though it would be cheaper and easier to do. Um, so that's one of the, the, the best things that people seem to like about it. The retention screw here, all your retention is going to be in the trigger guard area here. And so your retention screw, you can loosen that or tighten it, and you can you can hear the, that click. Once it's in, you kind of get that audible click, and you know it's in. It's a nice audible click so that... It just gives me a sense of security. And so for range days, I can loosen that up, and then it's not so hard to get out. And then when I'm hiking through the woods, I really cinch it down so that you've got to snap it to get it out because it hangs up on whatever kind of brush or scrub oak in our area, right? Um, that it's not being grabbed and then pulled from the holster. So it's nice to have that level of retention. Um, these clips, but Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna show, show the clips. I mean, I think that's the coolest part is, how much easier this thing is to put on compared to that. So we're gonna take that one off yeah. and put this one on. Cool. And, and let's uh, let's take a look at this because I, I know that for me, you know, these packs are made so that you know it's got this internal Velcro piece to get this off. And the one thing that um, you know this particular holster has um, is. It bunches this this area here, which um, you know makes it a little bit difficult. And at the same time, I think over you know years of use, I, I don't like the fact that this is probably going to compromise this yeah. strap in itself, right? So having it kind of pinched in there 
I've never really liked the fact that uh, it, it's just not very uh, not very fitted and you can tell by looking at these the difference and how essentially you know Gabe's made these so that um, you know they will fit this strap specifically and take away some of this kind of pinch or tension area here and uh, and not only that it shows how like this this fits much yeah. better compared to how to how this fits in there right so when Mark Mark from uh, Mark Hulsing from EXO and I worked on this that was one of the biggest things was being able to, to mount it with stability so we tried a couple of versions where you you had the the, the clip that I was using at the time in the center, um, but it just rocked back and forth and just wasn't stable. Like yeah. It wasn't stable enough. Um, so this way, we obviously, it makes the holster a little bit wider, uh, and it really does take up pretty much the entire, the entire belt here. Um, but it is super stable, and you don't have to remove the, the yeah, belt webbing. And so That's huge. I mean, I like that. Yeah. Just, just in itself right there. Is that the game changer? So S Steve says, leave this a little loose. You want to be able to get your finger in there. You don't want it so tight that it affects the performance of the actual belt. But then, um, and this one, you have a small. Is it a small belt? Uh, uh, yeah, I think so. Skinny guys wear small, small belts. Little, little guys wear nice nice one ninety. That's right, Got baby. Down. Fighting weight, brother. So you, you just—it's got a spring-loaded bar in there, and you just. Pull up on that bar, it unlocks, and you can see it's got a pretty substantial hook in there so that, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that hook allows you to, to have that same sense of, I guess, comfort when it when it clicks, you know it clicks, and I'll even, I'll even pull the bar down just to make sure that it's clicked in all the way. So, spring-loaded bar, clicks, you just open them up, kind of keep them pushed down, and then they slide onto the hip belt, as opposed to, like with this guy having to remove the hip belt, uh, using the Velcro, you just literally clip those two in. Come on, this is like made for TV. It's supposed to be rookie stuff. Click, on, click rookie. it and go. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> Set it and forget it. Look at this small hip belt, huh? Oh, yeah. That's, no, that's right. I was thinking that the the um, size adjustment on it, and I'll show you that in a second here. Sure. I want to put, there you go. And so now it but super easy. It's like 45 seconds. <laughs> we'll go with that. Yeah. We'll so put the timer on there. Right. Yeah. So let me grab one of these clips. Yeah. So one of the things. Yeah. Perfect. So carefully get screws in. The two. The two inch webbing on the K3 frame is, is kind of where these were born. Um, they've got a, a spacer in there. So if you had a K, well, it doesn't matter. If you had a K2 frame, which has a one and a half inch webbing as opposed to the two inch, mm -hmm. you can move this little spacer, pull that out, <clears throat> and then just move it up uh, up to that, that third little dash. Yeah. And now you, you can run it on a one and a half inch everyday belt. You can run it on the K2 frame. You can. I mean, there's a bunch of different packs that use a one and a half inch webbing. So right. that there's one pack specifically that you can take it out all together, and it works perfectly for it's like more of a, a Molly style webbing. Yeah, and it works perfectly for that too. So it's kind of cool to be able to adjust it to whatever you're wearing at the time. A lot of guys wanted to. Yeah, they really wanted to be able to take their holster off when they down an elk while they're quartering in grizzly country and put the gun yeah. on yeah. them, right? And for so, sure. And I'm not big on wearing a belt like when I'm hunting. Yeah. Just because it gets to be a little bit painful, you know, behind the lumbar pad, but sure. but uh, a lot of guys, if Flat I, I guess, Flat belt. yeah, if I was in grizzly country, I would I'd pick up a like, <laughs> Sitka makes a belt, and yeah, that's what I use. I use a Sitka. Marsupial belt. gear makes a, a really cool, yeah. like stretchy belt. Now it's not great for going to be you know load bearing, but for the couple hours it's going to take me to tear down an elk, it'd be nice to have that on there, right. especially with some of the stories we've heard over the last couple of years. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so. That is awesome. I'm and, excited. And, and as you can see, yeah. it's you know, just look at the difference between that as to what you know we showed you with, with this other one, you know, and, and just how much more difficult, like I said, this is. And you can see it yeah. forces that slide. And so I'm always constantly checking to make sure that slide's there. I'm punching to make sure that I get contact down at the bottom, right? And now you know with with the way that this thing comes together put it in there boom click yeah. 
I mean, that's just that's my. And it's you. You would think that something that's that because it's not a, a small gun, right? If, right. I I carry a Glock 20, which is their like full size 10 millimeter. Yeah. You would think that you would feel it the whole day. I'm telling you, tomorrow you you will you will forget that that's there. It's amazing how tight it rides to that. That pack, and I don't think it's. I think it's a combination of the, the what EXO did. They're they're obviously amazing, and then right. just that holster being kind of built and formed for that pack. It's it's gonna it's gonna disappear. Even your your, your like full size 1911 is gonna be. You'll barely feel it. It's gonna. I'm, I'm slinging rocks to, down range. Right. I'm so stoked to hear how you guys trip those tomorrow. Yes. It's gonna so, be cold. Uh, yes, we have a little uh, cold front moving in in Colorado. So only 95 today. It'll be uh, uh, 20 tomorrow. 30 tomorrow. Yeah. So, um, so that's pretty sweet. Jason's is uh, the 1911, um, and you know you can just see how you know the the ergonomics of it all, which is huge, right? I mean, having things that that fit, that ride, and as you said, you know, I think one of the things for us, especially with the pack itself, is like the fact that. You know, when we put the pack on, even though, you know, we may have 40 pounds in there yeah, or, or so, like it, it just doesn't outside, give you the feel of, the of that weight. And to us, you know, that that's a big part. And now we add this to it and it's that much cleaner, that much easier, um, gonna ride that much better. So pretty pumped about yeah, that. Yeah, and a couple of things that I, people like, that I I built in intentionally, but, but guys really, I'll get emails about them. They love that it, uh, it's a full length like slide protection here, right? Because um, guns are not cheap, right? And so I don't want to beat it up if I don't have to. You're running through brush, so and it doesn't, it won't make you any quicker at a draw. That's for sure, right? It's you gotta you gotta be intentional about bringing it up to the level where it's releasing, obviously from here. So you're not gonna win a quick draw contest, but it protects your slide on both sides. That's one. And then the, I guess the biggest thing that guys like so much, aside from the retention, is that it's got a closed muzzle. I had a guy eat it hard and slid down a hill, like a muddy hill. Just um, pack the barrel and, full. Right. And so he was like, I was so glad to have this holster because my I didn't have right. to clean out the barrel when I was done. And yeah. so that was really, yeah, guys really like the, the fact that for sure. Uh, and it's kind of, you know, they, I've had guys question, does it, is it so tight that it, you know, will hold water if it rains or snows? Um, and you can see it's definitely two different pieces of kydex and there's a slight gap in there so it will drain but if you wanted to you could punch a couple of holes in the bottom and sure um, you know let it let it drain even better if you wanted to but yeah it's that closed muzzle is like the bees knees wrapped up in the cat's pajamas for a lot of guys <laughs> I like it. you said you're gonna write that one down <laughs> uh, so uh, awesome well let, let's uh, show us just a little bit of you know what yeah how, how this all works I mean I think so you know start now obviously we're not going to show you a full build here but like right. start to finish show us like how, how does this process start and what's you know what's things look like yeah so we got we have multiple forms this is you know, kind of what one would look like it's not mocked up but but bottom line it's a either a resin form or a blue gun and most actually I'll say all of them are a resin and so we start with the form I'll heat what ends up being a, a couple of pieces of, of just 0.08 kydex, you heat it to 350 and then uh, once it's heated in the shirt press here we open up the vacuum press, slap the kydex down because it becomes floppy like uh, like American cheese, throw your gun in there and I've got a couple of lines you can kind of see, I, I really like running a forward can. I didn't used to do that, I used to run them straight a straight draw and I couldn't figure out a reason not to run that forward can, it just helps to kind of it presents itself to you when you want to draw, right? So it's kind of forward and it's, it's just a, a much nicer and quicker draw. So we do that, we put the kydex in, kydex on top of the gun, close it down, and then kick on the press, and uh, forms the, the hot kydex to the mold. Um, let it cool for maybe a couple of minutes, and actually I'm working on getting the cooling process down faster. Pull it out, move over to the drills, punch your holes like you see here. So we punch all our holes, we cut off what we don't need. I run it on the, I got a belt sander, <clears throat> belt sander, spindle sander to get all these like little curved areas done. So there's a lot of hand, hand work that goes into it to make sure that it's right, right. Um, but yeah, once it's, once you have sanded it, you run it on the buffing wheel, get those edges nice and smooth, and then uh, slap your clips on, put your retention screw in, test fit it, Pack it up and send it out. Nice.
Yeah. Anybody can do this. Anybody? Not no, not anybody. Just you. Just you. So, um, well, that's that's awesome. Um, you know, get a, a little bit of an idea of like what this whole process looks like, and, and yeah, it, it seems simple, but at the same time, oh, it took um, a lot of screw ups. I yeah, mean, I've been screwing. I've been in this probably seven years, and I've. I have toasted a ton of plastic. Like yeah. I've wasted so much plastic trying to get this process right. Right. Yeah. And, and I, I mean, you, you can do it right. It just takes time. Um, you, you could watch a YouTube video and make your own holster, you know, with a, a yoga mat and some plywood if you wanted to. But it's not gonna, it's not gonna be, you know, the, the right. quality that you want out of it. So. Right. Yeah. No, it's, this is awesome. We're, we're stoked. Um, you know, the customization piece makes it even better, but, you know, it wouldn't change the functionality. And, yeah. Uh, you know, so it, it's cool for us to get, you know, get a chance to, like, get a little behind the scenes look at all this and, and at the same time, like, show people, you know, how this, what we call, like, separators, right? Like, the separation of what this will do in terms of how, you know, the function of, of it, uh, like you said, protecting, you know, your firearm, uh, making it quick and easy and accessible. Yeah. Um, at the same time, to fit the ride, um, how you can change, you know, these clips and stuff like that. Um, this feature is just amazing to me. You know, compared to, you know, running your belt through it, or, or in this yeah. case, you know, undoing that that hip belt and trying to get this on here. And so, it's just going to be so much better. And, and uh, for the number of times that you know you may need that, or even just making sure that you know you're taking it out, putting it away, you know, whether you keep it by your cot at night, those types sure. of things, yeah. um, just having it handy and having it available makes it a world of difference. So, yeah. um, thanks, man. we're pumped. We appreciate it. Yeah, man, absolutely. Yes, Thank thanks so much. much. We're, we're uh, excited to, to get out. We leave tomorrow and uh, we're filming everything this year. Hopefully we've got something to show. I was a little um, bummed so. and stoked to hear you guys are hunting my unit. I'm like, I'm not, <laughs> I don't get to go up till the 19th. And so I'm like, oh, yeah, so we're, uh, we, we will, we'll we will get full, full, uh, full reports for uh, sure when yeah. we get back and let you know kind of how things are going. You may uh, have a game camera up there right now. So you may, you may, it's, it's possible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you see a couple of hooligans run by it, you know, I'm like, uh, I know those guys. Yeah. yeah. So, but, uh, but the good news is that, uh, you know, we're, we're in September and everybody gets to go Darn right. and, uh, yep. you know, we've got some weather change, which is exciting. And, uh, regardless of when you go, um, you know, people are starting to put, Elk on the ground, which is my feet is full of dead stuff, and it's driving me nuts. That I'm not kidding. <laughs> I killed four doves the other night, and I was shaking like I was <laughs> having withdrawals. I'm like, I gotta kill stuff. Yeah, okay. so uh, I know it's 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 that time of year. If you don't get excited, then something's wrong. Yeah. With you. So yeah, cool. Well. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, thanks, Gabe, for for obviously making awesome holsters, but at the same time, um, you know you. you you can see the shop here, you know, he's got orders going out like crazy. If you guys ever want to get a hold of Gabe, um, check out Ivory Holsters. You can find him online, find him on uh, social media, and uh, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So appreciate you uh, yeah, thanks so much. hooking us up with this, and uh, we're pumped to be not only supporting you, um, which, you know, local and, and another Colorado company, but at the same time, um, helping other guys, you know, get much better, much more uh, appropriate. Gear, yeah. Gear for their gear. So, man, thank you. Appreciate it.